and happy Wednesday. I hope we have some friends joining us here soon. Looks like I have a couple of watchers, so please check in and say hello. Make sure that you are in live chat at the top of the screen and not in um, top chat because you will miss some of the conversation. Hope everybody is doing well today. I have got something new that I have no idea what I'm going to do with. So let me switch the cameras around. And we do this. There we go. Now you can see what it is that I'm thinking about. Hello, Sue. Hey, Patty. Hi, Joanne. We will not have Terry with us today. She has a meeting she had to get to, so I missed her. Hey, Jackie. Hello, and happy day to you, too. My day is odd. Hello, Susan. My day has been very odd. I think I've got shiny squirrel syndrome happening lately. What a surprise. Hey, Shauna. It's like, you know, I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do that. So I'm kind of doing the ping pong, you know, machine all over the place. And um, it's not good. It's not very productive. <laughs> I don't like it. I want to switch. Hey, Marilyn. Happy to see you here. So maybe you guys will help me talk through this. I actually found another piece that was dyed in the same batch. So I've got two of them. And this one I'll need to do something to kind of, well, maybe that goes over there now to cover it up. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, but I kind of was thinking since this is linen, that I might stitch more on this. And this one might be a little bit more experimental, especially since it's got the fold line that dyed so dark it's gonna be a little different so let me know what you guys are working on today while i just kind of throw some things down here to look at and you guys can let me know what you think what are you working on are you staying cool is it hot wherever you are it has gotten warmish here uh, let's see we can bring you back a little let's see adjust there we go there we go now you can see a little bit what i'm thinking of this is small this is only like about 11 inches square so i don't know i was thinking maybe hey debbie how are you doing today maybe i would just add a little bit of lace but maybe it doesn't go there maybe it goes up here maybe it goes over here maybe it doesn't belong on there at all and I just love this fiber. It seemed like it would go with it. I brought a ton of fibers out, but I think I like this one best. You just turned on the air conditioning. It's about 85 right now. You know, we the AC is set for us as well because I don't handle heat well. The older I get, the less well I get. You're great, Debbie. I'm glad. I'm I'm not bad. I'm I'm good. I'm just distracted and I have no idea why. Nine seizures. Sue says, I haven't been able to start working on anything this week. Dog had nine seizures over the weekend. She has her final appointment with the vet on Friday. I think I'm in pre-morning. Oh, that is so hard. And I, I remember we went through that for about a year with our last German Shepherd. And there is nothing more um, heartbreaking than watching your animal go through seizures like that. It's just, it's a scary thing. They come on without warning and there's nothing you can do except hold them while they go through it or pet them or be near them and make sure that they're safe. I'm so sorry. Hey, Fiona. She is deadheading roses. Marilyn says, Sue, we love you. Yes, absolutely. It's 21 degrees Celsius for Victoria. I imagine it's probably cooler for Fiona too. All right. I think I'm going to save this one for that one. And I don't know. I just, um, yeah, and you're not going to be able to concentrate on anything for a while. And I keep coming back to these things and I keep leaving them because they just don't feel like me. Hey, Michelle. Yeah, you just, it's, it was the most horrible thing in the world, I think, to watch our dog go through that. And it was always in the middle of the night, you know, and then you never knew, okay, do we just wait it out or is this the one we take her to the vet for? Kind of like the dragonfly on there. Hey, Dawn, let's see. Do I need to, maybe I should have moved my camera over. Now, I'm just going to, don't mess with it. It's just, today's the kind of day that I just, I will get so easily distracted. In Florida, it's 87. That's too hot for me. 
See, and I love this, this raggedy edge there is so cool. And I know Fiona's gonna scream, but I'm actually was thinking before I do anything else, I might just take the seam ripper to the corners here because it's, it's just because they were bothering me. But I'll wait. Middle of the night before dawn, no sleeping in between. Yep, I absolutely remember that. Hi, Misha. If I'm missing people that are coming in, I'm sorry. I positioned my camera a little too far over. So if I don't catch them right away, I don't know. Um, yeah, so Sue, just come for the love. Soak up the love and you know, know that um, we want to hear stories if you want to share them. If you want to um, come over and in the group and share any stories about your dog or pictures, we would love to see them. I just, I feel bad when anybody has to go through that with a critter because you can't explain to them what's going on. It's just, it's, yeah. I know. <laughs> I knew you'd say that, Fiona. I knew it. I, I, I'm leaving it for now because I found this other piece that has, they're not frayed edges. It was just the way the hanky was, I guess. Marilyn says, my Yorkie had seizures after being knocked out by a softball. We had to give him Carl syrup daily. Oh, interesting. Caro syrup. I had no idea that helped anything with seizures. All right. So I don't know. Or maybe it doesn't need any late. I, I kind of like the, yeah. Here for the love. Yep. And we got the love for you. We got the love. All right. So maybe, 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 maybe I could, whoops, I could just cut a piece of this and the trouble is, okay. So I start thinking when I'm looking at something new immediately now, didn't used to, but the first thing I think about is how am I going to finish this? Is this going to be, whoops, and I think that's the back side. Let's see. Ah, oh, yes, it's even more, even more colorful on the front side. Pretty sure that's the front, which means, let's put that at the bottom. Um, I start thinking about how am I going to finish this? Is this going, you know, I knew if it was going to be a book. Well, now I'm not sure which side is front and which side is back. I guess it doesn't really matter except that's probably the back because of that edging. Doggone it. I like that one better, but okay. So this is the front. Um, Michigan, it's 94 degrees right now, but the Victorian home I built live in, built in 1892, has a huge black wall for, oh, block wall for basement and plaster walls, no air or fan going, and it is a comfortable temp inside. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So I start to think about how am I going to finish this? Am I going to have it just a loose wall hanging where I would just put some fabric on the back and have it hang off the wall? Am I going to mount it to a canvas? Am I going to mount it to a piece of, um, you know, watercolor paper? Victoria says, I'm secret squirreling and lurking a bit this evening as I'm practicing hooping ready for my July hoop challenge. I'm so unfit these days. I need to get a head start. Oh, well, that'll be fun for you. Be fun for us to watch you do. And I, I, I was really thinking I was going to put this on, oh, I don't have it handy, um, on a canvas. So I am going to probably leave it like it is and then know that I can go over the edge with stuff. But I do start to think about that, you know, ahead of time now. And I don't always guess right. So I, I'm liking this here a lot. What happens after that, I don't know. Gorgeous already. Thanks. But I do like the idea that something's going to hang off and I'm going to, I'm going to be brave and just, I'm just going to cut a length of this. If I don't use it, I don't use it. But I like the idea of this hanging down. So if that's going to hang down, then somehow this has to be connected or maybe this doesn't go on there. Maybe Maybe this is it. Okay. If I want this to hang down, I can certainly mess with that more. Do I want it on that side or on that side? 
Sue says, I grew up in Michigan. My mother spent a lot of time in the basement during the summer months. I can remember that I, where I grew up in Concord, we had um, a basement, which was not super common. And it was, you know, the course concrete floor. And then since it was under the house, it was, you know, into the dirt. And it was very cool in the summertime. So I, I was down there a lot. I had totally forgotten about that until my cousin told me a story about somebody falling down the stairs and landing on the cement and cracking their head open. And then I was afraid to go down the stairs for a while. All right. Maybe what I thought was going to go on there. Okay. This is going, we're going to cut it again. Ah, oh, well, I'm going to get some nice tears, but it's not going to, this is a really old bamboo sheet. So I don't know. Part of me thinks I should have had a little bit of a plan before I came on here, but I just love how absolutely threadbare this is, but it's not going to, it's going to be a pain to stitch and hope that it's going to stay on. Let's see. Of course, I say that now this one doesn't want to rip apart. Of course. Just want it looking really raggedy. Yeah, it's it, it was so it's so threadbare. I mean, you can just see right through it. All right, so it's going to need something up here, though. But I think this is too lacy. That's what I think. Hmm. I think as much as I love this couching on there, I'm not so sure that that's going to go. Wow. I didn't bring a whole lot of stuff out. But I thought I had cheesecloth. And, huh. Well, that was silly of me. This gray lace. Yeah, no plans. We don't need no stinking plans. You're right. Okay, I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to cut a piece of this anyways. Yeah, it's an ink dye paint. I, I'm not even sure. I think this is India ink and maybe some paint and, or maybe it's, um, you know what? I think this was the walnut inks. All right. I don't think this is going to work, but we're going to rip it a little bit. The open back stairs to the basement. Funny to watch the dog walk down. Yeah. And our dog, our hunting dog used to um, get in there. So he was, you know, between, he was on the cool, cool dirt and then um, under the house. And sometimes we'd need to get him out so that we could close the basement up. And he didn't want to come because it was so nice in there. All right. This is better once we get rid of those straight edges. Patty, what do we have to look forward to tomorrow night? Are you going to be selling? Is somebody going to be selling? I totally blanked out on Monday and missed everything. All right. I like that better. I like that better. Now, I really wish I had all my other. Okay, there's a little bit of cheesecloth, but that might be way too bright. Uh, here we go. No, that's not cheesecloth. That's more bamboo. Ah, and I didn't even bring my cart out. I may need to go run and grab something. I know I had some other cheesecloth. So I need another. Working on my first fabric wrist cuff. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Just a little bit of that coming through. The problem with this that bothers me is um, it's all one color. It doesn't have any of the tones like this does. And that sort of bothers me. And I really don't. Okay, wait a minute. This is a little more gray. Maybe we can make this work. Just going to go where the wind takes us. Okay. Hi, Angie. How you doing? What's up with you today? This might not work either. I can't believe. What do I have around me? I got nothing around me that will work, I don't think. Ah. This cheesecloth's pretty green. 
Ooh, it doesn't look as green here. It's a lighter green, but you maybe could work that. I like the looks of that gray, but I need to get some ink on it if I'm going to use it. And of course, do I have any ink out here? I don't. I always start with a cluster mindset and see where it's going to take me. But, you know, see, I'm already doing something different than what I had planned, though, because I really wanted to stitch on this because it's linen. Let's take a look at this other piece. If we're going to build something up. Now, I don't think the raggedy edges don't go. Yarn haul queen. Yeah, she got quite a haul, didn't she? All right, maybe we, I don't know. I decided, you know, if, if it all falls apart, and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to pick up the napkin and just start making stitches on it and start thinking as a doodle, and then we'll just see where it goes. That's why I brought the second piece out. I thought, okay, maybe we'll experiment with that. I did bring some sticks. Oh, this was the one I was thinking of would hide that. Hey, Sandy, you are home. Nice. Sleeping in your own bed tonight. So if we plan on kind of scrunching things up, this is still too straight out. I thought this was linen, but it's not because it's not ripping like linen. So here's a challenge that I have been giving myself these last few days, and it is making me, um, I think it's probably adding to my squirrel brain, is trying to describe what my channel is like and what people get coming to my channel in 10 words or less. Oh, see, even Zoe's having issues with it. going to guess there's a squirrel. Well, that idea didn't work. I don't like that. I am not happy with any of this. So I have three sticks. I could stitch this on because I want to hide this is the embroidery that was on the hanky and it just doesn't really, doesn't really go for me yeah somebody walking by i guess that she is not a fan of all right not a fan of that with the sticks see this is squirrel brain this is squirrel brain that one should go over there oh. Yeah, this is the last, last week has been a whole week of trying a bunch of stuff and having nothing work. Andy's playing with my jelly plate and about to make a mug, a, a mug on your plate. Yeah, I was thinking of you when I was grabbing sticks, but uh, they're not appealing to me the way I thought they might. I need to soften these edges. I really need to figure out what this material is because I love it so much and I would love to have it in a bunch of colors. It's not cheesecloth. Creative textile art with fun company. Well, I like that. Fun pottery. I was bouncing ideas off of... Um, one of my mentors yesterday. And every time I thought I had it absolutely nailed, he pointed out the holes in it. I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't know myself at all. All right, what if we start with something like this? You need to pick one color or the other. People, this is not, ooh, okay, that's a little better. 
nature art with textile fabrics. I don't do, I, I hesitate to put the word nature in things as much as I love it because I haven't been doing a lot of it lately and I don't want people to say, hey, you don't do any nature stuff. And then they get all upset with me. I don't like people upset with me. I don't think anybody likes people upset with them. Hmm. Where did my... See, and I should get... I should get some ink on there. You like the rusty? Yeah, I think that one works on there. I like this gray. If I can make it not so. No, the gray belongs on the other one. I need one more. It's almost too light. Why didn't, Sandy, weren't you in charge of reminding me today to bring stuff out? And you didn't. For shame depends on the why they are upset yeah i guess that's true if they came for nature though and they didn't get it i can understand being upset huh kind of like these colors with there too Oops, you forgot. <laughs> All right, I kind of we did something like this. The dragonfly could go in there. Can you bring back the open weave? Uh, let's see. This one? Is that the one you meant, Fiona? I just still can't believe that I didn't bring half the other stuff. We could kind of. This line down the center is really bothering me, but I'm hoping if I do, I was thinking stitches. Let's see, is there a different, I have, I have all these threads. Put it back. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, Sandy, put what, what back? This back, ignore the stupid line. Okay. <laughs> I kind of, eh. whether you're working with paper or fabric, it's the same thing. You know, I mean, this is just a collage. That's all this is. It's just, I'm using fabric instead of paper. You want to be careful and not have, stuff that's separated like that because you want to have them connected. How do I feel about tearing the base piece into at least two pieces and just making clusters with them? Yeah, I just, I don't want to make any clusters right now. I think they make, um, it would make great clusters. And I have a lot of material that's already small for clusters. I'm kind of trying to think larger. So thinking more like a large cluster, which means I really should have brought the card out. And I didn't. All right. I think then, so we need something else behind here. We might have enough. Oh, eliminate the line. That's true. Well, I could make them smaller pieces. Okay, let's take a look at that. What do we, what do we lose and what do we gain? Okay, let's, I, th this is the way to work through something. All right, so if we, if we ripped it there, the one thing that we would lose would be the matching frayed edges because this is part of the way it was made in the factory or whatever did that. So we would lose that, but we would lose the line. And I think, yeah, I think that's that's a biggie right there. What line? Yeah. Um, but the other option is, although that's quite in the center,
is to build off to the side. I'm just playing with different layouts. If I did that, I would definitely need to have something else. A new, yeah, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't, um, I wouldn't come anywhere close to what they had here because it's something that they've done. Plus it's gone through the dye process. So I know that, I know me personally, it would bug the heck out of me <laughs> just because I know me. So if I did that, but I still have something that's too much down the center. So no, I don't like that. Um, but better would, Okay, hi, Nicola, to hide, the, turn it the other way to hide the landscape line. So this way. So that's what I had. And hey, Miss Deidre, I like the light open weave material better when it was more rounded and on the top. So let's see what else we can do with this. You know, because coming up with the layout, that's always the hardest part of, of starting. Well, plus just deciding, you know, what, what you're going to start with, where, you're go where you want to land. But I definitely need my, um, I need my cart. <laughs> no, the other way. So turn it this way. Oh, don't stick with the original. I got you, Sue. Wrinkle up the center so the line disappears. That could happen. Okay, I don't I don't know that I like the this on this side. Let's look at what it looks like on the other side. We might be able to do better on this side. That actually look try taking the design from the bottom right to the top left in the long. So what about this? This is the back side. You lose a lot of that but it's not as pronounced. Wrinkle it up, she says, after I ironed it. <laughs> it's an option. It is an option. Whoops. And my head's in the way, right? Uh, so that's the back side, but let's go back to this. Fiona says, from the bottom right to the top left, Okay, and across the long center line. So let's go up back like this. The back of the original looks kind of interesting. Yeah, it just, you know, I'm not, I'm not completely recovered from my perfectionism. Uh, from the bottom right, try taking the design from the bottom right to the top left across. So Fiona, I'm not sure if I was quite where you were going with it, but probably need to bring you back a little more, huh? All right, now you're looking at the whole piece. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with the back. I like that idea. Now, figure out the rest of it. Hey, Lorna, nothing like art by committee. But see, that's why I love this. That's why I posted it in the group too, to let you guys know what I was thinking of and see where you went. So I'm gonna kind of rough this up a little more. Let's see if this works this way. Lorna's having an adventurous morning. All right, so yeah, kind of the moon. I think I kind of want Want it at the edges because we're gonna I'm gonna come over the edges of stuff. All right, and where's my I like this piece on there. I'm just not sure how I'm gonna join them. Hmm. 
Hmm. Where's my dragonfly? Yeah, I this material, I have got to figure out what this is. You guys have heard me ask this before. You can see my hand through it. It's not um, cheesecloth. It was the lining in something, and I have not been able to find it. One of the things that's bothering me, oh, maybe if I flip it, is this is so straight. So, I don't know, I love the color. You know, sometimes you just love the colors and the rest of it just doesn't work. This is the side that I want to have show. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, maybe I need to bring the bamboo piece over here. Uh, especially if I, the only thing I wonder is if I've got this kind of torn up spot and then the fringy things, if they're kind of getting, if they're fighting with each other. Let's Yeah, I'm going to have to use a seam ripper on this, I think. I just have to decide how much of this. I've got to, hmm. I don't feel like I have a good feeling about where this is going to go, which is why I hesitated to kind of dig into it. But we'll just see what happens. See where it takes us. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think it needs to be multiple pieces. And of course, it's not gonna tear right. Ooh, there we go. We're getting we're getting somewhere. I wonder if I could get this one more even thinner. I don't know, but if I only get a part of it, that's okay too. There we go. Looky here. Now. Could I use my stick? Yeah, I could couch the strips. That's an idea. And then maybe this gray lace, I, I keep trying to make it work. It's not going to work. And I'm not so sure that that works. See, this is my brain on fabrics. You know, remember that old commercial, this is your brain on drugs? This is my brain on fabrics and fibers. It needs stuff in the middle there. Fiona says, I think I will need therapy after tonight. Rip, rip, rip. I know, it's so hard on you, so hard. All right, my dragonfly might be trying to force the issue. Did I say what kind of sticks these are? No, you know, I think I got these on Etsy. Um, and I can't remember. I love them. I think they were just literally sold as, as crooked sticks or something. I have to look them up because I they're a really great shape. So if I wanted... Hey, Michelle. She says, sorry to join late. It was at the chiropractor. Hope the chiropractor helped. Love these warm August colors. Thank you. All right. I think, I think I'm sort of going somewhere, maybe. Cut just a piece of this. Uh, what happens if we just wrap some of this. See, we may go through the whole hour and a half and I might not even pick up the needle. You never know. They don't go all the way through. It's just, um, yeah, I'm going to have to look it up now and see. I do have some sticks that have got holes all the way through, but I sort of felt like maybe I needed to do something to them first. Yeah, this is, th these are my colors. This is my happy place. I just don't know. I don't know where I'm going to go with it. That's all there is to it. All right. 
if I put these things together. Hey, Barbara, how are you doing today? We are doing art by committee. I'm going to remember that next time that I do something like this and we can say art by committee because that's exactly what this is. No. All right. So if we build this up this way, the dark marks on the sticks are where the leaf joint was. Maybe. I mean, it's really, uh, this one's really holy. It's wonderful. This one's less so. I just can't remember what, it was a tree that I knew that I didn't have here, which was why I actually paid money for the sticks. I know, crazy, right? Hey, Colorado Blue Skies Boutique. When we had our last snowstorm a few weeks ago, I went out and picked up all the fallen branches and cut them up and broke them up. They're drying out. Oh, that's going to be wonderful. The only reason I'm unwrapping that is because I wasn't really in the center and that was going to, didn't have to be exactly in the center, but it was a little too off. Let's see. Sina did it again, but that's okay. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, all right. Are you guys bored? Should I just grab, grab my needle and thread and stitch on the other thing? Cause I don't know where this is going. No, I could do the dragonfly. I could also instead do. Oh, Barbara says to Susan Hiles, Hey Susan, I'm enjoying the lilt in your voice on your video since your retirement. Isn't that lovely that you can notice that that feeling of just joy that she's got at being home. I love that. The only reason I'm turning these upside down is because I wanted the, the frayed edges. Sue so says, I like the way that rope frayed out at the ends on the stick. Yeah, I kind of like that too. Loving the wrapping the tree branches, just beautiful. Yeah, I, I there's something very, you know, um, simple and pleasurable about that. So I've got just these really interesting, these were coconut buttons, I think. With the three, with the th these three, Sandy. It's interesting that I'm building from right to left. Normally I would go the other way around. Um, I sort of wonder... Hmm. I guess they're just some really interesting shapes. I think I forgot what these were made of. Again, this is another Etsy find. Maybe one that's got a little brown. Joanne says, I'm enjoying the design process of this piece. Ladies in chat have good ideas along with your expertise. I don't know how, how much expertise I have today. This is one of those, you know, very, very um, hesitant to go on. A couple of years ago, I would not have done this, but I know if at the end of the time, if I haven't done anything except for just eliminate a bunch of ideas, it's okay. Michelle says you have wonderful supplies, Susan, so much you can do with all that. Yeah, I just wish I was faster at stuff. Um, I'm just so slow at making any decisions and working. Hey, Carol, how are you doing? We're doing art by committee today. Art by committee. I think this is too big, so we're going to take that one out. Yeah, Ray, don't, don't say that too loud. Michelle's close enough. She could come over and swipe my stuff. She's just on the other side of the mountain. I don't know that decision making is part of my expertise, Joanne, but thank you for thinking so or saying it. I appreciate that. Ah, appreciate that. I think when you're doing this kind of play, probably the most important thing to remember, at least for me, yeah, the process is everything. Absolutely. And I, I just posted about that over on Instagram today. I kind of like this one. I like the dark in the center. Um, 
is to remember that the process is the whole point. You know, I don't, there are some people that when they go into their, their art space, they think of a project and they immediately know they're going to sit down and do this project. And there are other people, I think a lot of people that came from an art journaling background or a doodling background, um, where they think, you know, just about learning the materials and playing with the materials and that sort of stuff. And the project, uh, it's something I have to, I struggle with, you know, which is why I'm kind of, I mean, I have one project in mind for the classes, but the rest of the classes, I'm kind of like, mm. these green thingies are some kind of a wood button. Um, I don't know if they were a dye, they might be a dyed coconut. Michelle says, my son's getting my car smogged. I'll have to steal your stuff another time. <laughs> One of these days when I feel brave, we'll do like an open studio kind of thing here. And maybe you and Mouse and a few other local people can come by. You know, the brown is feeling too dark. I'm, I'm liking the color, this one or this one, maybe the smaller one. Okay. These might be dyed coconut. Um, I don't think these are, yeah, these aren't my ostrich buttons. I should have brought those out. Those would have been good too. All right, so, hmm, I don't, I feel like some stuff is missing, and so I don't want to start, can I layer one of the green ones on top of the brown circle? Let's see, could do like that, I have to maybe go the other way, these aren't, these, there's one, these are curved. There's this brown circle. You wouldn't see very much of that. So I don't, I think the answer is no. However, do I have something really brown? Let's just see what we think. Yeah, you are worried about, you are worried about, Sandy, that little odd shape all by itself. I could add a little nest of something. Maybe some of this has to go in the, let's just for the heck of it, let's grab a piece. There's mouse. The hot iron next to me at the moment, so I have to be careful. Yes, please be careful. Wireless irons. I've always thought the cordless irons would be a great idea too. So we could add this. I sort of feel, okay. I can see where my issue is with that. You don't mind the nest of something? I really, i kicking myself for not bringing out more stuff. I always bring out too much, and then I worry that I bring out the wrong stuff. Back here, it needs something. There's just, um, ah, okay, what do I have behind me here? This is still more lace. It's blue. I, don't, I think this might be too bright, but let's see if there's a section. Okay, Mouse suggests I should go get my stuff. Let me let me take a quick look at the studio. Talk amongst yourselves. Yeah. It's sort of like the towering inferno right now in there because I've just, 
if you saw anything on Instagram this week, I mean, the studio is a disaster. The fabric closet is a disaster, but I was thinking some of my threads, some different colors. Fiona's in the nest camp, okay. All right, you guys go right ahead and keep talking amongst yourselves. See if I've got anything else I can build. I still didn't grab. Huh. Yeah, so after today's live, I'm going to spend some time cleaning <laughs> and putting things away so I can find them again. All right, here, here's a little bit of brown something. I was looking for some darker browns that I could maybe shred. It's dark, not dark, but let's see. All right. So, of course, I probably have all the brown someplace else that was, yeah, literally. I mean, I just piled all these things on top of the uh, cart. Oh, well. Ooh. It's black, but you know, sometimes adding a touch of black to a piece is, is a good idea. Now all the fiber rolls are gonna go on the ground. All right, let's see. I do think, repairman, oh good. Considered, wait a minute, who said that? Miss Dieter, have you considered the golden fabric might be chiffon? No, it's um, it's very, it's not quite the, the feel of a chiffon. Finished glass number two of iced tea. Ah. Mouse says, I saw someone running in the heat wave warning weather and I wasn't sure what I thought about that. I would think they were crazy. That's what I would think. Absolutely bonkers. Joanne's working on her third quart of water. See, I had to limit myself. I had like two cups of tea and two big cups of coffee. Oh, and I forgot to bring my water over today, um, this morning. But I have to stop because otherwise I'll be stopping here and going to the bathroom. And I don't know. I'm not in love with any of this right now. So maybe it'll change. Cold and raining in Canada for Lorna. Marilyn says, Sandy says, Marilyn, you assume I haven't already kissed the repairman? Uh-huh. We see what you're like, Sandy. We know what you're like. Yeah, there's something about putting a little bit of black in there that just really kind of brightens things up. All right, so if we, if we consider, here's the thought. If we consider this section here basically like building a cluster. And then, well, it, it may be, it's very cottony feel. It was a lining in something I got at Goodwill. And one of these days, maybe I'll be able to figure it out. But I do need one more layer of something here. I do not count my layers. People always ask me, do you put a certain number of layers? No, I just do it until it feels like I got the look that I wanted. That's that's it. No coffee, just too hot. Well, I have to have the coffee first thing in the morning. I have two cups of cinnamon tea, and then I have my coffee. Well, Michelle, it's it's what we know, right? It's, you know, you know what you know. If you want to talk about, you know, writing techniques, and that's where my most of my knowledge is. The uh, textile stuff, the people, they surprise me with the stuff they come up with, too. Sandy says, I'm a cougar. He's all of 30. Yeah, and the dragonfly can go in there too, possibly. He might end up actually having to be over here by himself, sort of like coming in to wherever this is. And I like the idea of black. I'm not so sure that I like this netting. Do I have any black thread? Because that would be perfect. You guys, it's going to take me a week just to clean 
Oh my goodness. Such a mess. I do have some black threads here. Aha, I like that. Oh. Look at there. I like this. I like that better than the netting. So the netting's going to go away. I used to go to thrift stores a lot, Michelle, um, pre-pandemic. And honestly, you know, there's so much to, I have, I have way too many materials now to keep up with, you know, what to do next and even to figure out how to sell some of them off um, that I don't anticipate going to a thrift store again. I shouldn't say never, but, you know, I don't anticipate it in my near future. All right. I like the black threads. I need a nest. Ah, okay. All the cougars. Well, I married a younger man, so I guess you can count me in that camp too. What I really want, I, I don't even know where to go look in the studio. So, all right, let's look at what's in here. Michelle said, I like watching YouTube videos of thrifting for fabrics. Yeah. Um, um, Purple Cottage Crafts has a couple of good ones if you haven't seen them. She's done some of that recently. Fiona says, I think your strength is in the manipulation of clusters into the whole piece. The colors and placement are usually spot on. Thank you so much. What a nice, nice compliment. I appreciate that. Yeah, I can't even get to the actual cluster cart because I've got all this other stuff stacked on top of it. <laughs> I think once I got the shop launched on my website, I just sort of like drifted around. So I need something like this, but in black. So that's just way too white for on here. And I really um, need to decide what I'm going to be working on. And then I started working on some merchandise and that didn't pull together the way I was wanted it to. I'm waiting for some samples to come in. Um, I can't hydrate. I forgot to bring my water over. <laughs> so it's going to be one of those days. This is just a little satin ribbon, but sometimes you can get some neat effects when you start to rip it. Yeah, my whole studio is a cluster cart. You got that right, Fiona. You got that right. Let's see. If I leave that little bit in the center. See, that was just a regular little quarter inch ribbon. And oh, okay, now we're, look at this, we're getting somewhere. Purple Cottage Crafts videos are really good. I like her style. I did watch the fabric one recently. Okay, and who has the best husband in the world? That would be me because I now have hydration. Thank you. He came out of his office to bring me water. How sweet is that? Mouse said, I heard there's a person clutterbug who categorizes people's organizational styles. I'm realizing I have a cleaning style. I think I need to make a habit of cleaning after each project. Oh, I know I need to make a habit of cleaning after each project. The trouble is, I know that I won't. <laughs> I know, right, Victoria? Bless him. He is just uh, all kinds of awesome. He heard me saying I didn't have my water, and so he came out and took care of it for me. Not only does he deliver, but he's listening. That's impressive. Yeah, well, he can't help. Our house is not that big, so there's just his little um, door to his office is, I don't know, maybe not even 20 feet from where I'm sitting. That means he's listening to you. Paint. He, he does. He is. I am absolutely, completely, totally spoiled. Very, very lucky. And I say thank you all the time to him and to the universe for bringing him into my life. Other people are build up the mess and clean it all at once. I don't want to oh, kiss him. You betcha. Marilyn, that will not be a problem. <laughs> I would like to be the kind of person that cleans up after every project. Okay, here we go. We're getting somewhere. I just hadn't used the seam ripper enough. Okay, hadn't used the seam ripper enough. 
Yeah, and it's sort of, you know, I like having things out where I can see them, but there's a limit. Like I have, I've got, I'll show you quickly. I have these things to set aside. These are canvases that I know I'm going to want to cover with these fabrics. Okay. Here's another one. How cool is that? And start laying out the collages on them. So these are all, you know, canvases that are ready for me to do stuff to. But I can't even get to the island right now. So um, I will be reporting back in my happies <laughs> how much progress I get done on doing that. What other color do we want to add in here? Some gold, maybe? Yes, my husband does most, I would say 99% of the cooking. I have a couple of things that I can cook pretty well, but I don't cook them very often. And uh, I would say one thing that I cook pretty well. Michelle, yeah, this is going to go on a canvas. And then what I have to decide is how do I want the can? Do I want to attach this to a piece of linen and then stretch the linen over the canvas? Or perhaps I want to just collage the background of the canvas with, um, you know, papers, you know, book text, whatever, or just textured papers. Um, I'm not sure whether this is going to work. I think it's going to be too big. We'll see. My laundry style has changed since my husband now telecommutes all the time. If I had this in black, this would be a good nest. I think we don't need that much of it. And then we need some fuzzies, right? So I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of thinking I might want to play around since this isn't a huge one and I won't have to feel bad if, I, um, if I'm not crazy about it, is I'm going to just collage like some dictionary, uh, AC's working, nice. Uh, dictionary pages on the canvas and then attach this to the canvas. Hmm, this is not the stuff that shreds the way I like best. So we're just gonna figure it out. Let's see if we get some fuzzies happening. My nephew repairman, <laughs> that's great. Now, this stuff is not the good shreddy stuff. I need the really good shreddy stuff. Yeah, I'll have to. My cooking styles also cook all at once and then freeze. Yeah, we never cook, or I should say never, shouldn't say never, but we rarely cook something that's just one night. Um, so like when he makes pizza, there's enough pizza we make them in the little pan pizzas so we we can do that for two nights and then the dough's enough that we can do that um two more times of two nights so it ends up being six meals i make tacos i'm the one that does tacos and those are usually good for six meals and i can do the pulled pork not everyone can say they changed his diapers and kissed him of course not on the same day or even in the same year <laughs> Well, you probably kissed him when he was a baby. Is that his day job, Sandy, or is that something he just does because he loves you? So it's still not quite the, the, the fuzzies that I'm used to, but this might be more interesting this way anyways. Sometimes you need the seam ripper. The trouble with that is it, it does tend to cut it apart. And I do want to keep the length. Mouse, what are you ironing today? Are you doing just normal clothes ironing? He owns the company. Okay. Oh, Angie's husband just made tacos for me and my husband for lunch. Nice. Or you just made tacos for you and your husband for lunch. Today's our burger day kind of the treat for doing the lives and we do our burgers. 
Well, I don't do the burger. I do the chicken breast. Used to do their burgers all the time, and now I'm hooked on their chicken breasts. All right. Kind of okay. Looky, we're getting here. Look at here. See, we're building this up. We're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. I know it needs something else over here, and I don't know what. You're ironing perler beads for the I don't know what those are. Is that the idea on those beads is that you're supposed to iron them? I don't know anything about those. Back to the definition for your website videos. Would textile collage fit in some way? I think so. I think textile collage is a great definition. Um, the, the discussion came up, Sue and others that had seen it on, um, I think I put it on my YouTube page and then I put it in the Facebook group. Um, basically, when you go to somebody's channel that you've never been to before and you see their channel art on their page, and if you see, you know, um, card making, then you know that that's going to be, you know, that's what those videos you're going to expect those videos to be about card making. And I had, um, I had changed mine recently to find your creative courage because we talk a lot about being brave. And people told me that um, putting something like that up there would make people think probably that they were going to come to a session or, you know, come to a channel where there's going to be a lot of talk about, you know, psychology kind of talk and creativity and that sort of stuff, which is sort of like a side thing we do while we're doing art. And then, then we had a discussion about, I said, well, I, you know, textile art. And he's like, well, that sounds like an insider term textile. He said, why not fabric? And I said, well, when I think fabric, and this might just be me, I think quilts and sewing clothes. I'm not immediately thinking about art. He's like fabric art. And it just didn't have the same feel to me as textile art or textile collage or mixed media textile collage. So it's just, it kind of, evolved into quite a discussion and then uh, of course made me feel very self-conscious about who I was and what I was representing and what people would expect when they came to my channel. Plastic beads that you put on a board like cross stitch then fuse together. Oh, okay. I have a vague recollection of seeing some stuff like that. Okay. Thank you for reminding me. All right. This one might make a good base for the cluster. So maybe, Susan, today we're going to talk about codependence and art. Yeah, can you see me doing that? Uh, so here's, here's my hole. This is what I feel like. Okay, let's, let's take these off of here and look at this as a whole. I feel like when this gets stitched together, we are definitely, I, I'm okay with that. It's this over here that doesn't quite feel right. Maybe the dragonfly can come in here. The word textile elevates our artistic endeavors from sewing with fabric. I like that. Yes, I like that explanation and I would totally agree with that. So I was thinking, you know, you, and you go to channels where people are teaching you how to, you know, grow your Instagram or grow your YouTube. And they're saying, you know, well, grow this, grow that. Fiona, you agree? Okay, thank you. I mean, sometimes your mentors can tell you things and you can say, okay, I appreciate your point of view, but I'm still going to do it my way. And that's probably what I'm going to do with using the word either textile or fiber and not the word fabric. I don't think this stuff is going to shred. But, you know, if you go to, to a YouTube channel and it's like, um, learn how to grow your Instagram followers. And so if you went to my channel and you saw, um, what did I have? Grow, grow your, uh, grow into your art, grow, grow into your artist self, or I don't know. I don't have really a very good one right now. Um, Find your creative courage was one that I had, but then again, that, that was giving the wrong impression. Maroon color could add more richness. Let's see if we have something like that that we can play with. 
Sue says, so honor your artwork with terminology that fits it. Don't lower your standards to someone else's ignorance. I love that. Thank you. Textile and fiber art is a very broad explanation. So, okay, so here's the next thought. I, I like that. Textile and fiber art. If you just, if you went to my channel and you just saw textile and fiber art on there, would you be expecting tutorials? Would you expect pro projects? Would you expect um, all sorts of odds and ends? What would your expectations be if you just saw that? Or does it need to have something else with it? I wonder if I can add this to the back. And then I'm going to look, Mar Michelle, I'm going to look for some maroon to see what we think about that. But I want to see if adding textile art outside the box. All right. Art making. You would expect art making. I need to, I want to star something here. You'd be expecting things made. So how can we also talk about or let people know that we talk about um, when I, I picture my channel as Okay, let's see. Uh, the Priller beads are a bit embarrassing. It's really for children, like those plastic friendship bracelets. The more adult thing I'm doing recently is trying to understand Bokashi. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense then. I think textile and fiber art means all the things you listed. Oh, that's good. Sue says, if I want a tutorial, I will use the word in my search. If I want a project, I will use that. That's good. Barbara said, I'd hope to see playlists called tutorials, demonstrations, jelly, print, jelly printing on fabric, whatever. That's really great to that information. Wait a minute here. I got to back up a minute so I can star this. Sandy says, I'd be blown away by the creativity that inspires me to think beyond anything I'd ever dreamed. That's sweet. You know, at times I've done the lives every Wednesday um, on there and, and lately I don't have it. Susan says, not necessarily a specific style that would leave you open to do anything you want. That's kind of what I want. What you do, manipulation of all materials to make your own vision. Ooh, nice. Hey, Sharon, did you just get out of Lennon's thing? We missed you yesterday. Or I missed you. I can at least speak up for that. Oh, I was looking for Maroon. So I guess what I see my channel as is sort of like, this is my journey as an artist. I do have a, a playlist of dyeing fabrics, of getting color on fabric, I think. I think I need to update my stuff and make it better. I, well, I don't think I know. Here's a little bit of a maroon. Let's see what we think about that color. Oh, Angie, you haven't gel printed on fabric yet. I've got a couple videos on that, and it is so much fun. Okay, nope, don't like the maroon. That was an easy decision. That just, nope, I'm sticking with the earthy ones. Mouse says, I think the lives every Wednesday is important for the community building aspect that you treasure. Thank you. That's, that's a good point. I need to add to that. Oh, bad day yesterday. I'm sorry. You're missing mom, huh? Okay, well, I can do that. But I guess what I think of my channel as this is my journey. You guys are walking with me on the journey of my artistic life and hopefully getting inspired, you know, my regular art practice. Yeah, I can I can address it in an intro video, you know, for people that haven't been here before. But this was really, you know, in a, a discussion with somebody about growing YouTube specifically and kind of came to the conclusion that um, we were coming at it from different angles. So this is a little more maroon. This might be a little better. What do you think, Michelle? Michelle said, or yeah, the other Michelle. Um, the word journey in a description denotes experimenting and play with lots of material. I literally just typed the word journey as you said it. Yeah, see, I think, and the artist journey is used a lot, but something like that. Yeah, it's, um, the thing about jelly printing on fabric, okay, is 
if you want your fabric to still be pliable, you might want to um, mix some fabric medium with it or dilute your acrylic paint. That's a big thing. A word play on your last name and your favorite color. <laughs> I rust and ice dye fabric and my new thing is gel printing on fabric. Yeah, I just, I love gel printing on fabric. And I've actually been thinking as I'm looking at the stash of materials that I'm not using like this lace because it's not, it's just all one note. I got to get the jelly print out. I kind of like this. I'm not so sure that I have room for more green. What time? Yeah, I'm probably not going to stitch this down. So let's on this, but I think this has helped a lot. Let's talk about this corner up here though. Yeah, I think that might be a good thing. Some gel print on fabric next week sounds like a good idea because there's some things that I need to get done. Bye, Lorna. Have a nice nap. Let's talk about this corner. I have a couple of thoughts. A journey in textile art and collage. Ooh. Yeah, thin layer application. Fabric stays lovely and flexible. Yep. I do like using some fabric medium with mine. Um, it just, it helps. Okay, what's concerning me is this corner up here. And I have one thought is just to move everything up. And you know I'm not gonna be able to do that evenly. Let's see, since none of this is stitched, let's see how we can do. But I don't like that, no. Yeah, and that would keep my paper in there. Textile art and collage. A journey in journey in text <laughs> looks a bit risque. <laughs> a journey journeys journeys in textile art and collage. Explorations. All right. This I am just right here. I'm just missing something up here, and I don't know what it needs. Suggestions, people, suggestions. All right, the color may not be right, but let's just see. Does it just need more fabrics up here? Imagine these were different colors. Maybe it just needs, needs something else just a little bit back there. Explorations is a good word too, okay. Maybe just, that's true. That's true. I haven't done any stitching yet. So if I cover my little piece that I want to cover and then um, I can do like some loopy knots, feather, oh, feather stitching. It needs, oh, it needs a feather. Okay. Let me, I got feathers. Just a second. I only have a couple right here. Oh, peacock feather would be way too big for here. Um, I like the idea of texture more than color coming out of that corner. All right, I do have. I don't know. Discover what textiles can do. Well, I like the word discover. Sharon, it's for my um, value proposition. And I know you know what that is. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, but I will definitely keep a feather in mind as I'm sticking this together. My artistic mirage of textures and fibers. Ooh, mirage. Something behind the, yeah, see, that's what I think too. And I'm thinking, see, I just don't have anything else out here. And I can't even know where to go look. This is too white, but um, another, a cheesecloth. 
Okay, wait a minute. So the feather coming down here, is that what we liked? So maybe some cheesecloth that's more, um, yeah, this other color. Uh, all right, this isn't cheesecloth, but just imagine this color. All right, yeah, so I think I'm going to do something else up there. And I could even slide this down a little bit and then have the cheesecloth filling in that spot. I think weave the feather stem through the crochet la lace with the tip pointing up into the corner. So... I'm not going to weave it right now, but like this, so that it's coming up. Or I could do a smaller feather. This might be too light. You liked it better down below? also go this way and I've got a hawk feather that's um I've got a lot of hawk feathers that are darker which I think would be better color wise but maybe not okay this cheesecloth might be a little closer thank you Angie it's you know amazing when I start with the I have no idea what I'm doing thing I'm trying to untwist this enough so that we can see what we think Better on the other side. So we have a, this. Yeah, I kind of like it coming down like the cluster there. I'm definitely going to have to clean off the island now so I can. All right. It needs to be a bigger piece of cheesecloth so that it's. Not so straight. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe this is what we need is something that's got creating community through textile art and collage. Ooh, Michelle, you're good. Can I hire you? Can the rest piece and the crocheted piece be moved down under the cluster a little. Yeah, I since all of this is still loose, I think that's what's going to happen. I think that's going to have to come down a little bit. And I think I'm liking this. And I think some fibers back here might be what this needs. Perhaps something dark behind the rust as the background piece and rust have similar tones. Hmm. What do we have? See, I'm going back to. All right, imagine this was more like a dark brown because I'm going to go spray that with some walnut ink. And I think. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is probably build up this section a little bit. And I would do more of that here, except I don't have enough supplies out. Build up this section. And then I will build up this cluster, probably without the feather to start, because the feather is easy enough to add. And as much as I love that fiber on there, I don't think it's going to go. Unless I put it, I could put one strand of it hanging in there, perhaps. Yeah, I think. All right. I think that gives me a lot to work on on this piece. Let's look at, just for the, we can talk about this other one. 
All right, so I'm going to play, and it might be that in this rust, in this open pieces here, I do some like really with some heavy threads, do some really heavy knots, like some really big French knots in a few places and some loops or something. That's like a huge help. Let's see, how can I slide that off? Okay. Hydration. Hey, Deb, thank you. Yeah, it's a lot of playing that's going to have to happen with that as I start to stitch things down, but I'm going to definitely go clean after this <laughs> so I can find more stuff. Okay, so let's talk about what you would do with this. This has really um, got some nice color on it. Yeah, this has got to be the front. And this was one where I was thinking really very simply about just dropping some fiber on like this, couching this down, and then just doing some stitches around. I just kind of like the way it just sort of falls. I don't know where the end is. Oh, wow. <laughs> there are threads everywhere. Okay. Yeah, this is just some really, it's got some magicals in it and some paint and some inks and who knows what all. But I think on this, just, just a little, and I might, I might just have these hanging off the edge. Bring it up a little more. There you go. Hanging off the edge of the thing. I'm just gonna cut. The hardest thing on this is I love just kind of plopping a fiber down. But then, of course, it doesn't stay. This is something that's very hard to have stay while you're stitching. <laughs> and pins don't hold it very well. But that's kind of what I'm thinking is I might just make this very simple. That works. Fiona agrees. And I'm just going to have some of it hanging off the edge. And look at that, Fiona. I'm not even taking the seam ripper to it. You know, so I'll couch this down and then... Um, I'll probably just add maybe some French knots, maybe some straight stitch. You know, I debated because the, there's holes in this that I could uh, do some weaving through it. But I just really think maybe I do a blanket stitch around the outside. But I think simple is the thing to do on this one. Yeah. And then again, um, this will go on a canvas. So I will either paint or collage the background in a complementary color or stretch it um, with a piece of linen stitch this strip piece of linen and then stretch that on it. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And I had not, you saw how I was playing with this at the beginning. I was gonna go a completely different direction. And now I'm thinking the simplicity is exactly what I need to do on this one. If I can just get it to stay in place while I stitch it, cause that's the hard part. All right, this was really fun today. And thank you for helping me get from, I have no idea what I'm doing to, um, this is gonna be an interesting piece. And I'm gonna go clean off the island first so I can put it over there. Colors on the fabric remind me of hydrangeas. Yeah. Oh, my mother-in-law has hydrangeas. My grandmother did too, they're beautiful. All right, thank you guys. I appreciate it. And I will uh, see you in the group. If you're not already in the Facebook group, come join us over there. Sorry, we did not have Miss um, Terry with us today to be posting links. She'll be back next week. Yeah, I'm going to try to do like the little glue stick. I've got a fabric glue stick and to kind of um, do that. The other thought is I could use some temporary basting spray maybe and then just drop it back down again. I don't know. So hopefully you guys go away inspired and go have some fun making your art just because, right? Oh, hi, Margaret. Good morning. Good morning and goodbye, right? <laughs> See you in the group. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye-bye.